Hey everyone, this is Josh Williams, and today I'm going to give you a quick and dirty tip on getting your Starlink cable plugged into your dish. If you're like me, um, I received the Starlink dish and the large USB type cable was already plugged into the dish. And of course, if you want to put it through the wall, you're going to have to disconnect it. It came out really easy, but once I got it through the wall and wanted to plug it in, I had the hardest time in the world. And I think I even damaged mine uh, trying to force it and I got a replacement sent to me. Um, but I spent hours on the roof trying to get it inside the, the dish and it just would not go in. So uh, I found some helpful hints on Reddit where you can take a piece of paper and fold it and then cut it into a long strip and put it underneath the cable as you're sliding it in. And then once you get it to go in, you can pull the piece of paper out. This worked for me on the first try. I don't know why they don't supply something like a little installation tool that just shims it up a little bit, but this was the miracle I needed and saved so much frustration. So I'm gonna post this and hopefully this saves a, a lot of people from some trouble when they're first installing their Starlink, unless they get lucky. But I got two different Starlinks and they both have the same difficulty plugging in. And this worked on the first try. Now on an average day, I can hit internet speeds with my existing rural Wi-Fi at about um, one to two megabits per second download speed. Um, but I pay for seven to 11 megabits download speed. And sometimes I average about six to seven. Uh, with the new Starlink, I'm getting anywhere between 100 to, I've had 180 speed. Um, no lower than usually 50 at the worst that I've done a speed test. And the upload speeds have usually been around 9 megabits per second, which is about 3 to three to 6 times faster, depending on how my other one's doing, which is usually around 2 megabits per second upload. I'm paying about $96 a month for my current Wi-Fi, getting average about 6 to 7 megabits download, and now 110 a month for almost 25 times the speed. So uh, good luck, and if you're like me and you're trying to get videos and things out to the world and you have slow internet and you need Starlink to save you, it'd be nice to get it connected right away instead of having all this trouble. So hope this helps you. Thanks. Take care.